I'm going to run Rockingham. Rockingham gets rained out. Well, I'm, you know, the good Lord's showing me where I belong, I guess. So they want to know, do I want to run Bristol? God, yes. So anyway, I go, I run Bristol. We run pretty good. Go back to Rockingham, I win my very first cup race. That was your very first win. In 68, right. <clears throat> So how many? So is that like a limited deal? They just ran here. Yeah, see, I, I never ran Dale in all my career. I never, never ran, ran a full season. Never ran for a championship. Was that on purpose? Not really. Not really. I, I uh, partly because I felt like I had a very good short track car. I wanted to win. You know, the money was one thing, but I, I wanted to win. And I didn't want to drive a car that I didn't think I could win in. You know, if I thought I could win in it, I'd be glad to get in it. Yeah. And uh, uh, so I, I think that's the reason. Uh, my only regret in racing, my only regret in racing, that I didn't get a good car to drive for a championship. A full-time deal. Because I probably would have won it. Yeah. And so you, you raced short tracks a lot and ran cup when you could find a car that you knew could win and that typically would be a car that would only run 15 to 20 races a year and so in 1972 uh to 76 you drove for monty myers bud moore penske crawford racing die guard hoss ellington howard egerton talk about the die guard deal so you talk about you wanted to be in cars that could win but this is a brand new team well, let me, let me tell you, let me start from the beginning on that because, yeah. see, I, I'm in Alabama and I got my own race car and my own shop. In fact, I still own a house and shop where it's at. Really? But anyway, uh, Bill Gardner comes to me and he said, I want to start a team. He said, I want you. Do you and, know him? No. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't know him. I, I He come from Connecticut. He was in the special metal business or what? I don't know what the hell business is. In, but anyway, uh he had a brother-in-law named Mike DeProspero, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where the die guard come from. Everybody thought that was a product. It wasn't. It was two boys' names. Yeah. Yes. Mike DeProspero and Bill Gardner. So anyway, we go to Riverside, California. We have a meeting with Bobby. And Bobby who? Allison. Oh. And Bobby says, nope, I don't want a teammate. I don't even want my brother's teammate. Mm. Wait. I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, they were going to put you both in cars? Yeah, he wanted a team with Bobby and I both. Damn. So anyway, we go back, and we start talking about what he wants to do. And he tells me, okay, he said, we're going to take all your stuff and put it into the company and give you stock in the company. So Pat and I, we talk a little bit, and uh, we don't know what the hell we're doing, and so I agree to it. Mm -hmm. So I, I put two race cars, a drive-on 600 Ford truck I had bought from Banjo to pull my, all my equipment, my welders, my, and I had Airco welders at the time. I had everything good. I had all the pit equipment. I had everything to run a race car. I put it into the stock for stock and die guard. Well, then he comes to me and said, I want to move to Daytona Beach. He said, I think we need to be down there by NASCAR. I said, Bill, it doesn't matter if you put move in the office. You're not going to be by NASCAR. <laughs> I said, you don't get by NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yep, we went down to Fenders Boulevard, bought that building. In Daytona. In Daytona. My dad and I put the lifts in the floor. That was my dad's business when we were kids. And we do all the work in that shop, build a race. I... Sell my house in Hueytown. I had a place on a river. I owned the property. I wasn't lease property. Yeah. I stupid sold it. Moved to Daytona one year. Goodness. You lived there for a year? Yeah. 74 <laughs> to 75. <laughs> I got fired on the back of a boat. Wait. They in, fired you? In 1975 in July, after July 4th race at Daytona, I got fired. Why? On the back of a boat. And Bill Gardner said, you can't drive anymore. Why were you on the back of a boat? <laughs> That's what, what he was in, a yacht. 
Okay. okay, he was doing well. <laughs> yeah, it was like your dad's yacht. <laughs> and but, he's, he called you over to the boat to tell oh yeah, you, tell oh yeah. you were done. Tell him I'm After pro- the race. After the race. <laughs> what had happened in that race? Weren't you running good? Yeah, I think I finished sixth or seventh, or I was running fifth or fourth. Yeah. I don't know, something happened. But anyway, I got fired. I get a letter from Pete Penzer, that's... The lawyer. I won't forget this. So I let it be 150 now, and I know that lady <laughs> back there won't forget it either. She's shaking her head. To be honest with you, she she's right with you on this. I get a letter. They offered me 250 dollars for my stock in the company. Now this is to buy all my racing stuff and everything else. They offered me 250 bucks. So I got pretty upset, I guess, and. So I go to Bobby, and we go to a real good friend of our lawyer in downtown Birmingham, one uh, big deal, and he reads all the stuff. He said, Donnie, he said, well, he says, uh, you might as well take the 250 he said, because the stock ain't worth nothing. You know, the company stock ain't worth nothing. Yeah. So I told Pat, I said, uh-uh, I wrote a letter back to Pete Pender, $500, and they sent me $500. That's what I got for my stock. They bought the whole damn race team for 500 bucks. Yeah. Here I am in Daytona Beach with a wife and four kids. I got to go back to Alabama. I ain't even got a Crescent Ranch to my name. Right. I have $2,300 in a savings account, which I'll never forget. A good friend of mine in Alabama and his wife say, you can move in with us. Who was that? Char- uh um, it doesn't Horace matter. Gray was his name okay. Nell and Horace Gray They didn't have any kids They were older people Got it. They were the ones that was Supposed to go with Bobby The day he crashed the helicopter uh, Horace was He didn't go But anyway So we moved in with them I went to Bobby And I said Bobby I need a, a place in your shop To build me a race car Okay 100 bucks I charge you well, Neil Salter had a late model there, number 87. It was a, it was a Nova. I go to Neil. I said, you want to sell that car? He said, yeah. How much you want for it? He said, 8700 bucks." So I go to Pat, and I say, Pat, where are we going to get $8,700? She says, I haven't got a clue. I don't know. So I go to the bank, Sam Nielsen, the head of the bank, and I said, Sam, I need some money. He said, how much you need now? You want to try to pay it back? I said, I need $9,000, and I don't know how in the hell I'm going to pay it back. <laughs> so he said, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a 90-day note. In the 90 days, you pay the renters, and we'll renew it. So I buy this race car. The first week of this race car, I put half these springs on the back. John LaSara, Pat's brother, younger brother, is working for me. He came from Die Guard. And I go to BIR, I win. I go to Montgomery, I win. Come back the next week, I put a new Allison Stout on the front. Well, the next week at BIR, Friday night, is a three-feature night. They said Neil did it, but he didn't. I'm the only one that won three features on the same night. I won the three features that and I won 99% of the rest of them that year. <laughs> and then you could probably pay your uh, I did. I paid the note back. Paid your note back Yes, quick. I did. I paid it back in time. And it was very rewarding. Yeah. But the most rewarding race I ever run, I think, was the National 500 in the Hosses car when I won in the black and gold car. Yep. And after the race, I walked over to Bill Gardner, and I punched him in the chest hard what? enough to make a hole. <laughs> and I said, I'm the son of a can't drive remember yeah i didn't, i thought you run for them for more than you did so that was a really short period of time driving for uh die guard yes and then and that ended very badly and i didn't know it was i didn't know that ended the way it did from i guess through 70 when did you get with haas in 78 76 76 you start driving for haas and y'all are running 14 to 20 races a year? Yeah, we. Uh, I think the most races we run was 18. Yeah. In 79? 
Yeah. Hey, if you like that video, like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another piece of Dirty Mo Media content.